All right, Canadians, we are back, and it's time to continue here. We're still pretty much doing the same thing, building up our infrastructure right now. Uh, we're not at war with anyone. We're still in the process of building up all the buildings in our, our cities, our low-populated cities, like our new city, Quebec City, down here. Winnipeg, which has just been recently annexed. Um, we have our scouts that, well, our ground scouts are going over to, uh, we have open borders with the uh, Iroquois right now, and our scouts will eventually get over to those lands to uh, explore them some more. And also, in the meantime, our caravels, frigates, and other naval units are around the world exploring the rest of it as well. So, um, again, another few turns, we should have the whole uh, world uncovered. Not a few turns, but it's on it's on the way of getting uncovered, okay? And for right now, you know, I don't see us needing any more pieces of land. I like the amount of space that we have. We just need to uh, get culture so that we can uh, increase our border length for all these cities, get all of this covered in red, basically, and have our workers improve all of those tiles. And just build up the population, build up the science, the gold, the production, all of that good stuff, okay? Uh, once we get industrialization, I really Really want to make the crossbowmen into uh, gatl gatling guns that'll really increase our defensive strength and uh, we'll stop other civilizations from declaring war on us and even if they do we'll be able to defend ourselves but that's still eight turns away and uh, if we can do that and get the big ben then i'll uh, use this uh, great engineer to quickly purchase that big ben uh but in the meantime you know we don't really have to worry about uh uh, what's it called, the uh, Iroquois right now. Yes, they're getting stronger, but it seems like they're trying to win by domination. So you can just, you can expect them to be at war for a while. And if we're not at war, we are going to take over the science race. I guarantee you that. Because they're going to be spending time building up units, taking out the uh, the rest of Egypt, uh, going down here, probably trying to go after China eventually. It looks like their capital is uh, takeable. All right, it's right beside. And also uh, the Japanese who are in the way of us. Okay, yes, you can come from the other side of the world, but to do that, the Greeks are first. So we actually do have a strong buffer uh, between us and the, uh, the strongest military in the world right now. The Japanese on our right and the Greeks on our left. So we're looking pretty good for right now. We should have to, our goal should try to be get technologically advanced um, ahead of the uh, Iroquois so that even if they want to go to war with us, we should be able to, uh, to defend ourselves with the technologically better units. They may have more, but uh, I'm never planning to go on the attack against them unless, you know, it comes down to the nitty gritty where they're about to win or something like that. But I see us being able to really be a superpower with just the cities that we have right now. We just got to put in some work, okay? So I'm just going to basically be hitting next turn until industrialization in eight turns. Just got to let our workers go to work and uh, hopefully the Greeks do not declare war on us. Remember, our spies said that they were uh, plotting against us, but that doesn't always mean that they are going to declare war, right? If we get stronger military by the time that they do declare war, then they may just give up on it. So we'll have to see. But it looks like the Egyptians are going to be uh, eliminated. Unless they have another city up uh, that we haven't discovered just yet, but that is their capital right now. So it's not looking too good for the uh, Egyptians. That's okay. Remember, the Japanese and the Chinese are still closer to the uh, uh, the Iroquois than we are. A lot closer, okay? And we're going to be fine, trust me. We're going to be just fine. Uh, so, yeah, the turns are taking a while now just because I have units that are looking at all these other units. Come on now, jeez. You know what? I think i got to blow my nose, too. I can take this time to blow my nose. Hang on a second here, boys. Man, usually by now it's pretty good. Today is just a wild day. All right, uh... We discovered a barbarian encampment. No uh, sense in getting rid of those. Let them... And it looks like uh, there's still some land down here that hasn't been uncovered yet. By the Well, it hasn't been settled on yet by these cities. Oh, well. Can't worry about it right now. Uh, yeah, next turn. Just keep on going. I really just got to keep an eye on Edmonton. See what they're doing. Yeah, they got some military units, but I don't see any siege units. Remember, I... I think, uh, hang on a sec, accept embassy, yep, I will do that, where is their capital, their capital is right here, Istanbul, okay, very nice, yeah, so we're starting to uncover the rest of the continent here, it looks like it's kind of a snaky ass content, uh, continent, which would be good, because if the Iroquois have a lot more land over here, then they will be a superpower, but if it's just a snaky continent that goes this way, they really don't have that much more land than we do, not yet anyways, they will if they take out, uh, China after, uh, what's it called? After these guys. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna take these guys out, no problem, too. Yep. I think they already take it? Yeah, I think they already took it, right? Yeah, the city is that color now. Oh my god, my freaking nose! This is ridiculous, man. 
Holy crap, I should just like... No, oh, whatever. Hang on. Alright. Was my friggin' being attacked by archers? By barbarian archers? Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, so we met another, uh, what's it called? City-state. Friggin', I should just blow these guys out of the... F oh, whatever. You know what? They're on another continent. They can just wreak havoc on other people. Screw it. I'll just keep on exploring. Alright, whatever. There you go. We discovered Warsaw. Very nice. So well, we're starting to get the rest of the world uncovered, boys. Damn, Beijing. They really only have, like, one city, basically. Damn. Yep, you require definitely a very powerful civilization over there in the east. Very powerful. Uh, open borders, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about that. All right, so castle. Wait, do we uh, was there an open borders to the Iroquois that got? Uh... Hang on a second here, boys. Let me just check out something. Uh, where are they? Yeah, there you go. Uh, do we still? Have, yeah, we still have open borders. Never mind. Yeah, so I want my scouts to eventually get there. Where are my scouts, by the way? Why are they up here? What are they doing over here? I think I gotta send scouts. I can't put them on. Um, no, I don't even know. When they put on scouts on Explore and they have to go through the water, they take forever. And sometimes they just get stuck. So I'll have to just manually put them over there. Uh, okay, so I'll do that after. Uh, we got the castle done in Edmonton. So now we have a uh, city strength of 47 with uh, four crossbowmen, uh, musketmen, and uh, two pikemen. Okay, that city can definitely defend itself. Trust me. Uh, Edmonton. Okay, so I do want to be going after all these things. We can officially get cannons and musketmen now, which is good, but cannons are only good for an offensive. We're not going on an offensive just yet. Unless the Greeks declare war on us, then we will take their cities, but we can build up cannons uh, when we need it. Right now, it's infrastructure, so it's got to be buildings. Uh, theater would be nice, but you know what, Edmonton, let's get going on a, uh, you know, at university. Yeah, I got to get going on that science now. Yeah. All right, looking good. Six more turns that we got to go. We got windmill in Ottawa, which is good. And we have a mine over here in Ottawa, so the Ottawa uh, production should be getting better yet. They got some lumber mills down here, it looks like, that are being created. Oh, yeah, Ottawa's starting to get uh, infrastructure now. Good, good, good. So next turn, let's see what the Greeks do. Let's see what the Greeks do. See, they're all just kind of moving around. I don't think that they're actually attacking us. You know what I mean? It may be coming. Like It may be like 10 turns away. I don't know how the spy works like that. But uh, I, f I feel fine right now for that. Yeah, we're going to be able to get to six turns. Yeah, we'll be able to get to six turns. Uh, looking around. And we're saving up a lot of money as well right now. And we're almost at a golden age as well. So that's why the happiness would be good. Uh, Quebec City has grown. Good. Uh, oh, 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 we found another civilization. Jeez, Ethiopia. Haven't even met them yet. Uh, okay, so scouts, get into the land of the Iroquois. There you go. There you go. Right over there. Uh, you, scout. You as well, right over here. And you, Scout, same thing, right over there. And then when they're in there, then I'll press E for Explore, and I'll get open borders with as many sieves as I can. Uh, windmill, all right, so we got the windmill done in Ottawa, so now it only, uh, yeah, it's def Ottawa's definitely better at uh, producing buildings now. His production is 16. Uh, amphitheater for culture. Yeah, because, oh, well, theater for happiness? No, 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 amphitheater for culture. Yeah, I want the culture. All right, looking good, because we could go after a cultural victory. I know what you guys are saying, too many cities. It's not too many cities if you get a lot of amphitheaters and wonders built. And remember, Vancouver is a culture-producing city. All right, I know it's only got 10, but it's uh, it's got no, uh, what's it called? It's got, it doesn't have like a monument, what, does it have a monument and stuff? Hang on. Buildings. Yeah, it doesn't have a monument even. So, plus all the, uh, the wonders, if I can get like an amphitheater and a monument, this one city will get like 20 plus culture per turn, especially if I start focusing on culture, okay, uh, yeah, you guys are all just doing, yep, more, uh, plantations, they're actually working on Montreal right now, which is good, just keep an eye on the Greeks in Edmonton, that's all we have to do, don't really see anything else attacking us right now, and, uh, definitely not the Byzantiums, they got nothing, I don't know if the, uh, Byzantiums and the, uh, what's it called, uh, the Greeks made peace, uh, ooh, no, no, look, he's going to war against China now. He wants me to help him. No, sorry, we have no interest in that. He's going to war against the Chinese now. What a jerk, man. All right, so the Chinese have, I think they actually have another city up here if you look at their borders. So they got one, two, three cities, it looks like. So that'll slow down the Iroquois a little bit. And also, the Beijing looks like a very hard city to take. I'll show you why. Hang on. Uh, well, it's city strength is not the hardest, but just the, uh, the way that land units would be able to get there. Hang on, what's going on? Hang on a second. 
Yeah, yeah. See how it's like if they're sending in units from down here, they have to go through this one tile. And to do that, I mean, there's a mountain on this side and there's water on this side. So you kind of have to filter units in through here. But if they have enough units, they can just like land them on the sides. I'm just saying Beijing may be able to kill a few units, which is always good for us. Uh, so we finished the workshop in Vancouver. So now we're up to 33 production for Vancouver, which is very good. Okay. Uh, yeah, Vancouver, it's time to go after libraries and universities. All that good stuff for Vancouver now. Okay. I want to keep an eye on our science. 161. I want to get it really up there now. We'll keep, a tra we'll keep track of it. Uh, keep down here with the Greeks. Just keep an eye on them. Next turn. I'll blow my nose again once the, uh, doing the uh, next turn while we're waiting. All right, so Ethiopia wants to have an embassy, except we can find out where they are. Okay, so they're all the way up here. Looks like they had their uh, capital taken away from them as well. I'm pretty sure that's not their capital. All right, so damn, man. The Iroquois are just rolling up everyone on that side of the continent. Jesus. But we have our spy in uh, Onondaga, so that's good. They'll be able to tell us what's going on. Uh, Liza calls for faith. All right, so a bunch of this stuff. Hang on a second here. Come on now. Unit needs orders. Oh, okay, that's why. All right, so we've met another city-state. So, yeah, our, uh, what's it called? Our Navy's starting to go up this side. That's what it is. There's still a lot of water to be uncovered. Uh, yeah, Genoa. Genoa. Yep. Yep. Monastery. So we got another monastery, which is good. Uh, Winnipeg has grown. Oh, my God. That is huge. Woo! It's incredible today. Uh, Winnipeg. Yeah, Winnipeg has grown. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right. That's all well and good. Yep. No, I still look good over there. They got some riflemen now, though, so that Gatling gun is definitely needed. Uh, but it is coming. It's only three turns away now. Ottawa, yep. Yeah, windmills in Montreal and Toronto, which will help with production. Yeah, everything's looking good. Our scouts are getting over there. Yeah, everything's looking good still. Next turn. And I gotta blow my nose again. This is crazy. Today is just a crazy day, boys. I don't know what it is. Uh, usually by the time I do a Civ video, I'm like, oh... I'm all done, you know? GMO commentaries is where I gotta blow my nose the most, but usually by now I'm done. Not today, though. Jeez. Alright, so the turns are definitely taking long every time. It's because we have a lot of uh, the land uncovered now. It's taking a while to process. But it's also because I have my uh, scouts over there. If I delete my uh, scouts and my caravels, it probably would go a little bit faster. Uh, no, I don't think we have to worry about the Greek army just yet still. It looks fine for me. I'm fine with that. Uh, library finished in Vancouver, which is good. Uh, let me get going on that monument. It'll only take one turn. It'll be a, a, a bonus to culture. We will get the universities going as well. But again, science has now jumped to 171, which is every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. We're going to be losing some uh, some science here because our workers are going to be uh, deleting the jungle tiles for, I don't know, farms or uh, what's it called, trading posts. But that's okay because we're going to get it back in universities and libraries. And the city will be a better production, uh, better producing and better growing city because of it. Okay? So, yep. Next turn again. It's got to keep going. Industrialization is almost done, boys. That's basically the uh, the main goal that we're on right now. Once we get that done, we got to set ourselves a new goal. Uh, yep. Just looking around everywhere. Everything is getting done. Yeah, once these windmills get done in, like, Calgary, Montreal, and Toronto, those cities will definitely be able to produce. They already have workshops. Workshops with a windmill? Hell yeah. Especially military units, when we need them. It'll be nice. And I'm not even focusing on production, either. Uh, my god, my nose is so stuffy. <laughs> uh, Vancouver, so we got the monuments. Okay. Um... Amphitheater of four turns, which would be nice. It'd be jack this culture up to 17 per turn. Uh, what about the university? Do we already have a university in Vancouver? We didn't have a library. Hang on. Uh, buildings. We had a library. Hang on. It's the, uh, or is it specialist buildings? Yeah, they already have a university. Weird. I must have built it in the... F I, don't, I don't know when I built that. How did I build the university before the library, though? Whatever. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm lost right now. Yeah, I built the library and now the monument. Okay, weird. Uh, what should we go after? The bank would be nice for money, but you know what? Let's get that, that happiness so we get to our golden age. So I'll get to theater in seven turns, okay? Yeah, one more turn for industrialization. And we saved up enough money, we can definitely upgrade all of our crossbowman units. Alright, so let's go next turn. We'll get all of our uh, units upgraded. We'll uh, get the Big Ben, and we'll do one more turn after that, and then we'll leave it there, okay? I don't want to get too far ahead here, because if you guys see something that we need to change, 
I want to allow you guys to get uh, your opinions across. So we'll do one more turn after this turn, okay? Come on now, boys. Uh, looking around, looking around. My, my nose is so stuffy. It's ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous. All right, industrialization. Very industrialization. nice. And also we uh, uncovered coal. And because we have such a big uh, territory, there's no doubt that we were, we were going to find some. Uh, so that's good for factories and all of our buildings. Uh, and all of our cities, sorry. Uh, so we already have a coal that has already been built because it popped up on a mine. So that's good. We already have five coal. Very nice. Where's the other one? Uh, down here. So our workers will eventually get that. That's two coal. All right. And down here, that's another five coal. So we got a lot of coal here. That's good. Uh, yeah. Actually, we have four sources of coal. That's very good. Hell yeah, that's very good for us. Uh, yeah, Laventa, blah, blah, blah. What would you like to research next? All right, so here's where you guys can come in to, uh, come in to help. What should we go after next? Our special unit, the Mountie, is right there. All right, but we don't have any horse resources to, uh, use them. And it's not like we need them for a military right now. We need a defensive military, which is Gatling guns and artillery and riflemen, right? But we could also go after acoustics, which is, uh... Uh, culture. So I'll just show you guys the uh, technology tree. Well, we're going to do one more turn anyway, so you know what? I'll just go after dynamite, and because uh, that's the artillery. Once we get artillery, we'll definitely be safe. So I might as well just go after that. Okay. Uh, production. So we finished the amphitheater in Ottawa. Very nice. Uh, factory would take 17 turns. I don't want to do that. That's going to take way too long. It would definitely help out the uh, production, but it's just I don't want to be wasting 17 turns right now. Let's go after that theater for happiness. 10 turns. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got more mines on the way, which is good. Uh, the windmill is going to be done in one turn, but I'll just, uh, skip on it for right now so we can get the Big Ben, okay, and get the Great Engineer to hurry production of Great Ben, or the Big Ben, so it's going to be done in the next turn, which is great for us, and then we can finish the, uh, windmill after that in one turn, okay, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. And now what we can do also is upgrade our military. So right now, if we take a look at our military, we're fourth, all right, with 86,000 soldiers, okay? Almost uh, half of what the Iroquois have. Can't tell what the Greeks have, all that other stuff, but uh, there we are. So now watch this, 81,000. Now watch this. I uh, can't upgrade these guys. Yeah, they go to Lancers. I don't want Lancers. Upgrade the crossbowman unit to Gatling guns. Now, it costs 220 because it is a big upgrade, but uh, these guys are definitely a lot stronger, right? You got a strength of 13 and a range strength of 18 for the crossbowman. Watch this now. Upgrade strength of 30 and a range strength of 30, okay? That's a huge increase. Does that one unit increase our soldiers? 86,000 now. You see what I mean? It went up by a lot now, so I'll just do this. It's going to cost some money, but I'm willing to do it. I need to have these guys ready if the Greeks attack. All right? Now we're down to uh, just under 500 gold now, but now with four of these units, we're a lot better. And in fact, I'm just going to do it on this guy as well. There you go. So we have lost a lot of our money, but that's why we saved it up, okay? Now our military is at... Is that still at 86? Was it at 86 before? All right, so maybe I have to go another turn. I thought it was at 81. I guess it was at 86 before. So we'll do one more turn just so we can get the Big Ben done. And we can uh, take a look at uh, how strong our military is now with the uh, increase from crossbowmen to Gatling guns. Okay? Uh, Japan completed the Sistine Chapel, so maybe they're going after a cultural victory. Okay. Warsaw and the Ottomans are now allies. Blah, blah, blah. Just let, let it get done. Keep an eye on the Greeks over here. I'm fine with the Greeks now, though. A castle with uh, four Gatling guns, we're fine. And we finished we, 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 we finished the uh, Big Ben. I can't even talk right now with my friggin' nose running. Good God. Uh, and what the uh, what the Big Ben does is the cost of gold purchasing in all cities reduced by 15%. So now anything that I want to quick purchase in a city, like a granary, any building, any military unit, 15% uh, cheaper. Nothing like, not a huge number, but every little bit counts, okay? And especially from a civilization that can make a lot of money if we wanted to, it'll be a good, it'll be good news. So fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself. yep. Uh, Ottomans are no longer blah, 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 uh, Quebec City has been, yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen just because we have all these cities. Basically, it looks like, uh, 
uh, that religion has taken over our, our continent. But you know what? That's not the end of the world. I can't worry about religion. It's not like a game changer religion. It is something that helps you out in the early stages, but we're already big enough now that religion, it could help us out slightly, but it's not like it's going to cost us the victory just because we don't have religion. Uh, Winnipeg. I want to go after a workshop in Winnipeg to help out the uh, production. It's already 12, I know, but the workshop will help it out a little bit better so we can get libraries and universities done. Um, Toronto. Uh, let's get back on the uh, windmill. One more turn to finish it off. And Montreal. I uh, could get going after a factory, but let's get going on a amphitheater just to help out with culture. All right, we'll get the factories done eventually. So we're going to leave it right there, boys. You can see how it's uh, slowly but surely the workers are making the way. Oh, Mer oh, my God, I can't even talk. Making their way from uh, Vancouver to Montreal. Now they're kind of down there to Ottawa. Some have gone over here to uh, Edmonton. They've even come down to uh, Quebec City to give this city a jolt. So that's really good. Uh, the Greeks do not look like they are attacking us. We have a very strong military now. I'll show you guys the demographics. Uh, yeah, it jumped up to 90. 3,000 so nothing too spectacular but we didn't increase our numbers we just increased our technology which raised our value okay so that's what I'm talking about uh, if we build some more of those units our uh, military would go up a lot more but Edmonton is definitely a fortified city right now with a castle and all those units uh, we definitely have a lot more of the world uncovered you're starting to see the whole continent that the Iroquois own but or Iroquois own but uh, it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good. I like what we're doing down here on our continent. We just got to continue to move forward, try to get on top of science, gold, and production, and uh, try to just stay happy with everybody else. I want to try and stay aw away from war right now. All right, Canadians, so we'll leave it right there. Let me know if you guys have any bright ideas, and I will see you guys in the next video.